Have you ever noticed that every time a plane takes off, the pilots push the throttle all the way forward? Why can't they just lift off slowly? Because takeoff is the most dangerous 10 seconds of the entire flight. In just a few thousand feet of runway, a machine weighing over 200,000 pounds has to break free from the ground and shoot into the sky. The only way to do that is to unleash maximum thrust instantly. When the throttle is wide open, the engines blast out air at more than 600 miles per hour, pushing the plane to around 170 miles per hour. In just a matter of seconds, at that speed, air moves over the wings, creates enough lift, and pulls the entire aircraft off the ground. If the thrust isn't strong enough, the plane won't fly. It'll just run off the end of the runway. And here's the real reason. If one engine fails during takeoff, the remaining engine, at full power, still has to be strong enough to get the plane airborne. If not, the runway simply won't be long enough, and the consequences could be disastrous. That's why once pilots pass what's called V1 speed, no matter what happens, they're committed to taking off. Behind that one push of the throttle are decades of safety data and engineering logic. Could they save fuel by using less power? Not really. Burning a little extra fuel might cost a few thousand dollars, but not using full thrust could cost hundreds of lives. So every roar of the engines isn't for show. It's the safest and most correct way to fly. If it were you, would you rather drift gently into the air or launch into the sky at full power.